my little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today we've got ourselves another lovely lacy and oh so simple stitch. This is the shells and diamonds stitch. Very, very simple with only a two row repeat. I think it would be lovely for a wide scarf, a wrap, a beach cover up, or a nice light blanket, you know, or a coverlet, something like that. Now this piece, I used Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the colorway, I believe it was Aqua. Today, we're gonna to be using the same yarn in their Anemone colorway. And because I like for some of the lacy things to have a nice drape to them, I used, this is a six millimeter size J crochet hook. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so first things first, as per usual, you need your base chain. Now the multiple for the base chain of this particular stitch is a multiple of eight chains plus an additional two chains. So what I did here for my swatch for today, I have a total of 26 chains. I've got three multiples of eight, so that's 24, and then my additional two chains, so I've got a total of 26. So what you need to do is figure out how many multiples you want. Although I always suggest make a swatch first, get used to the stitch, and see based on your gauge and your tension how many many multiples you would need in order to obtain the width of the final project that you want. So get your multiples of eight and your additional two and we'll get started. Okay, row one. Start by doing a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then chain three, skipping three chains, and then into the fourth chain, three double crochets. So we've got one, two, and three, chain three, skipping three chains into the fourth chain, single crochet. And we're gonna do this all the way across. So chain three, skip three chains into that fourth chain, three doubles, Chain three, skip three chains into the fourth chain, single crochet. Chain three, skip three chains into the fourth chain, three doubles. And then we're almost at the end. We've got four chains left, so chain three. And into the very last chain, after skipping three chains, the last chain, single crochet. And there you go. Okay, row two. Start off by chaining up three and turn your work. Okay, now we're gonna be working into these three double crochets. Into the first double crochet, do a double, chain one and a double.
and then chain one, then into the next double, same thing, double, chain one, double, double, chain one, and double, chain one again, and then into that third double crochet, again, double, chain one, double. out a little bit more yarn sorry there we go okay so I've got my double and a chain one I need one more double so the the shells involved for this particular stitch it amounts to six doubles separated by chain one spaces you've got sort of three V stitches separated by chain one spaces now scooting right along without doing a, a chain in between. I suppose you could, but I think it works out just fine without going right from this shell to the next into that first double. Double. Chain one and double. Now, when you make that first double, you want it to be a little bit taut so that it, there isn't a huge wide gap in between uh, with that stitch. We are going to be covering over it in the next row, so don't worry too much about that. And so after doing our first V, chain one, and then into the next double, double, chain one, double. Okay, so we've got two V's, chain one, and then we need to do one more. So into that third double, doing a double, chain one, double. So double, chain one, and double. There we are. And then scooting along to do our last grouping. So into that first double, Double, chain one, double. Okay, get the double, chain one, and double. Chain one, next stitch, double, chain one, double. Chain one, last stitch, double, chain one, double. There's a lot of repetition, and this is one of those particular stitches where, yes, you can, in essence, go on autopilot, which is always a bonus. And then, reaching the end, going to do a double crochet into that single crochet. Okay, and that is the end of row two, looking gorgeous already. Okay, so now we're going to be doing essentially a repeat of what we've already done. So row three, going to start off by chaining up one and turning the work and into that first stitch, single crochet. There we are chain three and then into the third chain one space because we've got one two three four five so into that middle one that third chain one space here three double crochets and this is essentially what we did for the first row, but now we have something to work off of, which makes it considerably easier. So then from here, chain three, and in between our shells, single crochet. Right in there. Chain three, and 
then again in the third chain one space, three doubles. Chain three. And in between the shells, single crochet. chain three, into the third chain one space, three doubles, chain three, and then into this last space. You could stitch into the top third chain from the bottom, the top of this double crochet here. Personally, I find it a lot easier if you just, into this space right here, do your single crochet stitch. Either or, I think, is totally acceptable for this particular pattern. And that is the end of row three. Okay, so row four. Start off by chaining up three, turn the work, get the tail out of the way, and we're going to expand our shells. So into the first double, double chain one double, chain one, second stitch, double, chain one, double, chain one, and then the third stitch, double, chain one, double. Okay, then scooting right along to the next shell, first stitch, Double, chain one, double. Chain one, next stitch. Double, chain one, double. Chain one, third stitch. Double, chain one, double. Okay, just a wee bit more yarn here. Okay, so we've got our six doubles separated by chain one spaces into the next shell. Double, chain one, 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 and double, and then last but not least, double crochet into that single crochet stitch at the very end. And there you go. So it's just a matter of repeating rows three and four ad infinitum until your piece is long enough. But because I love spending time with you guys and I like being thorough, it's part of what I do. I'm going to do another repeat with you. So let's hop to it, shall we? Chop, chop. Okay, so row three for the repeat. Chain up one and turn the work and single crochet into that first stitch. Chain three, and then into the third chain one space, three doubles, chain three, 
single crochet in between the shells, chain three, three doubles into that third chain one space, chain three, single crochet in between the shells, chain three, into that third chain one space, three doubles, chain three, and then single crochet into that very last space at the end, single crochet. And there you go. So that is row three for the repeat. Now, of course, you could end on either a row three or a row four. Personally, I think that this piece looks nicer ending on a row four. So let's proceed and do that repeat as well. All right, so last but certainly not least, row four for the repeat. Start off by chaining up three, turn the work, and then into that first double of the shell, double, chain one, double. chain one, next stitch, double, chain one, double, chain one, and again, last stitch, double, chain one, double. Okay, scooting right along to the next shell, that first stitch, Double chain one double. Chain one. Next stitch. Double. Chain one. Double. Chain one. Last stitch. Double. Chain one and double, okay. Scooting right along to the next shell, double, chain one, double, chain one, next stitch, Double, chain one, double, chain one, last stitch, double, chain one, double, okay. Then to finish up the row, double crochet into that single crochet stitch at the very end. And there you go. Very, very simple, really lovely, and I hope you guys like it. Yeah. Alrighty, my dears. So that is going to conclude today's tutorial on the shells and diamond stitch. Really hope that you liked it. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation. And as always in the description box down below, I've got various links as well as the timestamps for this particular pattern. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody. Have a great day.